No. I wake up at like 3 p.m. or something, and my man should call this Good Evening Katana Vlog instead of Wake Up Katana Vlog. But it still fits because I'm waking up at this late in the afternoon. So, how you doing? Leave a comment below, say hello, how you doing, and don't ask me how you doing, just say how you're doing. Okay. Let me, um, let me tell you a couple of things you may not have heard before. There is a daily rocket launch in Longbow, California, next to the Federal Penitentiary. I don't know if it's a max, triple, or quad max facility, but it's right next to the prison. And they launch a rocket every fucking day. Pretty crazy, right? Well, that's why Elon Musk's rocket is made out of cheaper materials that dis disperse heat as opposed to pulling it up. Pooling. 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 It's three different words with the almost same pronunciation. Fucking English, man. Pooling. Fucking words, mate. Fucking words. Not only is it cheaper on NASA and Mr. Musk. That's a fucked up name. Musk is a simp, not a name. Elon, you got a fucked up name, buddy. There. That's another fucked up fact. I just realized. At least the name I chose for myself makes sense. Katana. That's a sturdy, firm object. It's very sharp and it has a point. Which apparently I don't. Oh yeah, what was I on? Oh yeah, the rockets. Yeah, cheaper construction, cheaper materials. Oddly enough, that shiny metal goes through space a bit faster than the uh, composite materials NASA was using. So they designed those specifically for re-entry. You know, to be brought back down with the people inside them. <coughs> but these rockets that Musk designed, well, I'm just going to call him Mr. Stinky Name. Yeah, these rockets that Mr. Stinky Name designed, they're not designed to come back. They're designed to be gone. Way away. And what they're actually used for might surprise the living fuck out of you. Because they're not sending fucking Teslas out to Mars. That was a publicity stunt. And it was probably all fake too. Just like the moon landing. Apollo 11 found out what was on the moon. They even released a video. They declassified that shit. So it's safe to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I'll wait a while before I tell you guys what Mr. Stinky Name's rockets are being used for. if you really want to know. Uh, leave a comment. Really. If the first person just says, yes, I want to know, just upvote his comment. Get some interaction between you people going on.
And look, still got stuff in my eyes from being asleep. Some sort of hardened mucus discharge. Well, what else? What else can I say that's obscure? Oh yeah. Has anyone else noticed that video game file sizes are getting bigger and bigger? Well, they upgraded the Xbox One to a terabyte standard hard drive. Game sizes are fucking massive these days. That's because what Clean Prince Gaming said on April Fools is true. I mean, he may or may not have released it as a joke, but it's the truth. They've got all these subroutines for psychological manipulation in them. And that's why all these games are sucking dick lately. It's also why everyone's furious. I mean, whether you realize it or not at the conscious level, at the subconscious level, you know what the fuck's going on. Because your subconscious processes information at around, oh, what was it, 8, 80 or 8 or 80 trillion times faster than your conscious mind. <coughs> so whether you consciously accept this fact or not, you already know a good deal about a game just from playing it for a few seconds, really. You know the latency factors between your controller input and the character moving on screen. You know, deep down, the suspicion. That the file sizes don't need to be that damn big. And DRM and uh, fucking copyright protection is not that big to start with. Games were released in the kilobyte range that had pretty decent uh, copyright protection. So if you just look back at those examples and then look at the games today, you'll see quite clearly it's all a load of bullshit. They don't need to be as laggy and sluggish as they are. Now, some of these psychological things that they put into them, that would make a really, really good system for making an intricate and dynamic horror game. It really would. You know, because it'd be timing your um, actions, your inputs, and it would be generating a profile based on some standard baseline things such as how you act upon or react to an event in game whether it stops you from having controller inputs or whether it you ignore it and you continue forward with whatever you're doing in the game that's where these mechanics could fucking shine they really could oh come on stay lit motherfucker this is tedious, you know that, right? But all these uh, all these CEOs are pushing these mechanics to be used to push you into microtransactions. It's it's called the Skinner box technique. It's called psychological manipulation. And it's just fucking morally bankrupt. Well, it's not yet illegal in the United States. It's pretty fucking close. No matter what the bureaucrats and uh, Congress decide, it's gonna fuck over everyone, really. 
whether they let it continue or they try and put a stop to it I've already said this before no matter what decision is made the end gamer is just gonna get fucked over and they're doing some really nasty shit too yeah the global government system yeah, that's a loose term <laughs> <coughs> they're doing some really fucked up shit with gaming yeah that's two items I'll save for later the fucked up shit they're doing with gaming and what smelly names rockets are really being used for yeah so leave some comments down below if you want to know some about that I'll get around to it sooner or later Maybe I'll write it down so I don't forget. Who knows? Hmm. Well, that's it for me. <coughs> yeah, that'll be it. Till next time. Bye.